My name is Oliver Knapp and I'm an engineer here at Somerford. Today we're going to talk about vulnerability scanning and reporting within Lacework. Somerford is a premier partner with Lacework, having worked with them delivering their state-of-the-art cybersecurity solution to a host of satisfied customers. As such, we have specialist knowledge and experience when it comes to provisioning, maintaining and gaining value from the Lacework platform. Our service to this end include the setting up and delivery of Lacework's bespoke proof of value, provided free of charge by Summerford, the adoption of full deployments of the Lacework platform and support for any need you may have within Lacework. In this video, we'll explore how Lacework handles and reports on vulnerabilities within hosts and containers, including a demonstration. This demonstration will utilize the Lacework partner demo in order for you to see how data is handled and presented within the Lacework web UI. So, Let's jump in and explore the relevance and the idea of vulnerability management. When looking at the current cyber landscape, it is almost impossible to view the idea of the cloud and not think of the benefits that it brings. From significant cost savings and scalability to the flexibility and mobility the cloud provides. However, with this comes the inevitability that malicious users would want to use this boom in popularity to their advantage. Mixed with the inherent increase in attack service that operating in the cloud brings, especially when compared to an on-prem solution, meaning that it should not come as a surprise that nearly half of all data breaches occur in the cloud, with this statistic surely to rise with a year-on-year -year increase in cloud adoption. As such, the utilisation of a technology which can find the vulnerabilities which cause these breaches and attacks within the cloud with accuracy and competency becomes paramount. Enter Lacework Vulnerability Scanning. By using a constantly evolving library of CVEs, that's common vulnerabilities and exposures, and an easy to navigate user interface, Lacework provides competent and complete visibility across your cloud infrastructure. I'll discuss this more in more detail in the coming slides. Before we jump into a demo, I'd just like to go over the main points of interest, if you will, of the vulnerability side of Lacework as seen in the list on the screen. I briefly mentioned before this idea of CVEs and how Lacework uses them in order to gain an insight into the vulnerabilities apparent in your system. A CVE is essentially a list of flaws in a single known system or setup. Lacework uses a variety of CVE databases in order to gather a large amount of flaws to look for within your systems. From this, it will then identify which of these CVEs are relevant to the containers and hosts it is scanned. These databases are continually updated and checked on as well as Lacework increasing the amount of databases it utilizes frequently. This then allows for an in-depth risk analysis on the Lacework platform, as you will find that the systems scanned have been scrutinized in every way when looking at potential vulnerabilities. This then culminates in a risk score which is given to the system. The CVEs found can then be analyzed and looked further into on the Lacework platform itself. When using the Lacework platform, and as will be shown in the demo, there is easy and intuitive filtering and also visualization, allowing you to find the information which is particularly relevant to you. This is done through the extensive filtering options within the UI and the fact that Lacework platform has been designed to be as intuitive and user-friendly as possible. I personally found that compared to competitors, it's quite far ahead, especially when it comes to the platform usability side of things. So, all of this comes together to give you complete visibility of the vulnerabilities within your system, allowing you to easily see what the main issues are where they are and how you might go about fixing them. One final note is that Lacework also offers a great deal of context on these vulnerabilities, allowing you to both see the vulnerability in the context of the system and the system it has been identified in, and then also have linked the site the CVE has been obtained from so you can get more information on the CVE itself. Now that we have covered the main points, let's explore and put some context to them through a demonstration of the Lacework vulnerability dashboarding and reports. So, when you first go into Lacework, you'll be greeted by the Lacework dashboard, as seen on the screen. This gives an overview of your entire Lacework deployment, including interesting information and a nice visual representation of trends and the main parts of Lacework. We're going to be focusing on the vulnerabilities, so we'll navigate to the Vulnerabilities tab on the left. If you mouse over, you will see there are many tabs you can go to. The Vulnerabilities tab is here. Hovering over Vulnerabilities, we will see a few options, Host, Containers and Exceptions. The first two relate to where the vulnerabilities are found, either in individual hosts or containers. Exceptions, the third option on this list, refers to options which can be set up by the admins in order to allow some known CVEs for existence if it is expected that a CVE will show on a certain machine. For instance, if you were to have a test machine that you know has a few flaws, but it has no outward facing ports or access 
to it other than internally you could set that as an exception so that lacework would not flag any issues on this device we will start by navigating to the host section of the vulnerabilities the first thing you see is your vulnerability dashboard this will show you some general information about the host in your environment for instance in the lacework demo environment 64% of hosts as seen here have a vulnerability as identified over the last 24 hours. Scrolling down, we'll see a list of our hosts based on the filters set. So here we have the host name IP 10-0-3-22C.ec2 internal. This is just an example of a host name and one that you might see in your environment should you make an environment with lace work. These hosts will also contain a risk score given to them based on the CVEs found and the severity of said CVEs. You may then click into them as shown to bring up a second menu. This menu will give you some more detailed information on the host itself if we go into details, including its IP address and some more internal information, and also on the CVEs present within the host. As you can see, for each CVE identified on the host, you can click into them and the link will take you to the origin of the CVE. If I was to click on this link, it will take me to alas.aws.amazon.com where the CVE related to Amazon and AWS would be explained. In this section, you can also see at the top where you may add an exception for a machine or a CVE. Unfortunately, on the Lacework demo environment, this is not a feature that I am currently able to show, although it's quite a simple task. Going back to the main page by clicking this cross, along the top of the screen, we can see the filters. There are a multitude of filters which can be applied to the CVE search. These will in turn change the results we see in the list of hosts. If I were to just want to look at this, the host with critical CVEs, which we would normally refer to as known bads, we would filter to show this. I would just click on severity, highlight the only critical and click show results. This specific search is looking for machines that are online and have had a successful scan alongside being exposed to the internet with a package status of active or unknown. And here we can see the only the only host with CVEs that which is online which are critical is this one. You would then be able to click into that and get more details on this. The time range these CVEs were identified over can also be adjusted. For instance, you could click in the top right and look at CVEs over the latest week, month, three days, day or hour, although it doesn't have to just be these options. You can also create a custom time range if you wanted to. The search itself can be completely changed by using the PAL filter in the top left. Here we can change from host to CVE. If we were to group by CVE as such, we would have returned a list of CVEs and the host the effect. This would allow us to say, look at just critical CVEs over the last three days. If I wanted to look at just critical CVEs over the last three days, I would choose severity critical. And then I would change my time range in the top right to the latest three days. And here we can see the critical CVEs which have been found over the last three days. Clicking into these CVEs, we are greeted by some information on the impact of the vulnerability and also some more information regarding it. We can also look at the exact host it is on here, if we scroll down, and there we will see where it's present. Now, when we navigate over to vulnerabilities and go into containers, we are greeted by a similar screen. Lacework maintains consistent styling and dashboarding throughout the UI as this allows for much easier navigation and usage, thus allowing you to govern your security easier. Again, the results here can either be returned based on the containers or image ID as it is known in the Lacework UI or the CVA. The same filtering may also be applied here. You will more than likely find there are more results for containers than hosts, but both are equally important. If we were to filter on just CVEs, We would find, as seen here, there are 1,796 identified. 
Whilst that does seem like a lot, it is also important to remember that a lot of these are actually not massively impactful. Lacework can be used to identify the worst of the bunch and fix them before they become a problem. You also find that in doing so, you eliminate some related vulnerabilities, so there's no need to panic and lose your head if you were to see a large number of vulnerabilities. That concludes the demo portion of this video. So, to wrap up, we have covered today how vulnerabilities are handled in Lacework, including the precedent for them, the data they use and the exploration into how they are presented. Through discussion, we have broached the utilisation of CVEs, how they are used for in-depth risk analysis and the visibility this provides to anyone using Lacework. Also, through the use of the Lacework demo environment, we have put some meaning behind the words. Looking at the Lacework vulnerability dashboard and showing how one may take a deep dive into their data, be that on hosts or within containers. I do hope that you found this video useful and informative, and through our time together you have learned a little something about vulnerabilities in a cloud environment and how Lacework goes about presenting them to you in a way which is easily digestible and actionable. Remember, nearly half of all data breaches are due to vulnerabilities within a cloud environment. Using Lacework you can help prevent yourself from being part of that statistic. If you have any questions or want to learn more about Lacework, then please get in touch with us at info at someofthesassociates.com and check out our other videos on the features of Lacework. Thank you for watching and goodbye.